It's afternoon on a clear March day in Missoula. Standing on the University of Montana campus, you glance up at nearby Mount Sentinel and notice the uniform horizontal lines. The lines are echoes of the ancient glacial Lake Missoula beach. They are strand lines or shorelines. They are our iconic feature. I mean, most people, I guess you have to maybe be a curious sort, but go, what are these lines doing on the hill? And might seek the story to understand it. The term strand line, it's kind of all inclusive. It is simply meaning where the water came in contact with the mountainside. They're exactly parallel along the mountain front. They do not cross. They are always the same. And only a body of water could do that to a mountain. And they look like beaches. That's what they were. They were multiple beaches up and down the mountain. They were the highest on the mountain at the deepest part of the lake. So in Missoula, the lake was a thousand feet deep. Probably drained and filled 40 to 100 times, but it didn't always fill back to the same level. As time went on, the lake level dropped. So that's why you see multiple lake levels. At the time Glacial Lake Missoula was here, it was quite desolate. Um, ice and ice water and icebergs and probably some hellacious storms. You can stand in the middle of the oval at the university, you can stand Karis Park, you can stand where we are now and, and look at the lake lines on the hill. I couldn't help but, but see them every time I looked at Jumbo and Sentinel and all the mountains around Missoula. Engraved stone markers placed by the Glacial Lake Missoula chapter of the Ice Age Floods Institute show the high water marks at 4,200 feet on Mount Sentinel, Mount Jumbo, and Lake Como in the Bitterroot. Become a geological detective. If you find a strand line, take a selfie with it and post it on Instagram with hashtag Montana Natural History Center.